hi guys welcome back to the channel make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to the channel make sure your post notification bell is on guys so you miss a video anytime is the up upload also to like comment and share definitely share the channel guys subscribe button what gray and not red also to make sure your post notification bell is on because you do not want to miss a video in time is the upload that way you, if, when, every time you look at your screen every time you look at your computer screen you'll see miss d closet says it's up there on your screen that way you know when i post you will be notified all right we're gonna go ahead and jump into this video now y'all already know beginning of january we started out with our bad drills right right now since we're just about we're already 15 days in i have been seeing valentine's day stuff everywhere everybody has jumped on that bandwagon even though we're still in january but honey i'm telling you right now if you're anything like me and you love that dollar tree you better go there right now i'm telling you go there start looking for little stuff because baby if it's anything like it is where I'm at over here, it's gone already. I'm telling you. So, Miss D gonna go ahead and jump on to the bandwagon. Yes, we're gonna jump onto this wagon, honey. We're gonna jump on the wagon. All right. With that being said, let's talk about these bad drills. So, we're gonna go ahead and start our second row. And our second row of the bad drills are for Valentine's Day, okay? Now, you can use just about anything you want to use, like I've always told y'all for your bad drills okay there will be more ideas and so forth coming but today is our project share okay today is our project share um for valentine's day like i say even though we're still in january we're like 15 days in but miss d gonna go ahead and present it to you guys now and then in february we're just gonna follow up and we're gonna have a whole week that's right we're gonna do a whole week of different things that miss d have planned for you guys in February okay but we're gonna go ahead and start it off now now let's talk about the bad drills y'all may have seen these before but guess what if you have we have upgraded y'all know you can do bad they're doing badges any kind of way now and you can mainly do the badges and make them unique okay make them unique the way you do even though we everybody's doing these yes they are so I know y'all probably have seen me do these before, but today is our project share. I'm going to tell you guys what I used, okay, how I ended up putting it on, and so forth. So you can come up with something nice like this, all right? Now, we're going to talk about this one first. This one here is just a charm, a little love charm right here. It's a small charm that says love on here. If I can, if it'll be still long enough, it's small. Okay. And these right here, guys, these are nothing but them little table scatters. What you know, them little gas, gas, the little glass scatters, you know, that you put on the table or either in the glass itself. That's all this is. And hot glue and E6000 or my strong adhesive. I blinged it out, added charms. That's what I did. That's all this one is right here. Okay. This one here, I love this one because it is so unique. It is a gray capuchon. And it was a rose. It's already blinked out all the way to the top. All the way around. I used a gray large wooden bead. And I added a gray... Um, bead at the bottom and that's what this one is that's what this one looked like all right this one here is the ring if you go to the dollar tree y'all know the little rings they put in there for the kids in their little bags you know if you're doing little treat bags that's all this is i took it off shaved it down you will have to work with it now but when you do and once you get it on there with the adhesive of your choice Y'all already know it's not coming up. So you better make sure it's in place, okay? I ended up beating it out. Putting my little go-to, which is my glitter. I'm going to go back over it just a tad. And that's what I did here. Once it dried, 
And that's what I did. Added the wooden beads. And that's it. The pony bee hearts and seed beads. And that's it. That's all this one is right here. Okay. That's what this one is. We're going to start here. As y'all can see, same thing. These right here are nothing but the little small capuchins. That's all these are. I didn't want to too, do too much glitter on them, but before I knew it, I had already started glittering it. I didn't want... This one right here was supposed to be have no glitter because I wanted it to stay like the black, kind of keep something like an original. And that's what this is right here. That's what this is. You can add as many beads as you like. Your choice. But that's what I did with this one. These right here are the little cabochons. They have these in the dollar store too. They have these at the Dollar General. And they have these at the Dollar Tree. I've had these a while. And I looked and I say, oh, I, I remember where they were. in my um, Because I have some big, big roses like these. And you can't order them as well. But these here, I didn't have to. Why? Because I found these here at the Dollar Tree. And look what I made. Yep. That's why I say you can use this by anything. The same with this. I made the little angel. Y'all have seen me make the little angel charms. And there are more videos coming on that. Same thing with this. And this here is my go-to, which is my glitter. Y'all see what it looked like. That is beautiful. It's cute. Y'all see I kind of kept it original. I didn't want to add too much to it. Because I wanted it to be kind of like a little uniqueness to it right there. And I did this one here. I did all of them to match. That's what I did. All of them to match. Okay. I did this one here, this one here, this here is nothing but wood. Like I say, this is just a ring. But this right here is just that wood, um, the circle wood that you can buy. You can get them from anywhere. Amazon and I had these for so long. And I um, found them in my stash. Like I say, y'all know I have a lot of stuff over here. Found these in my stash. And um, these here don't have, the, this one don't have the hole. I had some with the holes and without, I believe. And yeah, I was using them for key rings and stuff, and I just decorated, put it on here, put my little flat back pearls, my go to, which is my um nail polish. Y'all already know, and y'all look what I did with that. Add a few charms to it, keep it kind of original right there at the back, and so forth. That's what that one is. These may be on my Etsy shop. I may put these on my Etsy shop. If my local um, customers don't be done bottom up first. So <laughs> if I post them, y'all better make sure y'all go get them. Okay, this here is the gold. I did this here in gold, pink and gold. And I did it in pink and gold to match the charm. Right there, that pearl charm. That's cute, isn't it? That's real cute. That one is. Um, uh, this one here is the same. I think I did all of these the same. And I didn't realize, y'all, I had did this one and this one the same until I was done. I'm like, oh, man. But I did this one in gold, as y'all can see. Y'all see, I did that one in gold. I did this one in gold. And I did this one. And I did the charm in the pink, though. And I did this one in the pink, which is my go-to. Y'all, I just told y'all what it is. If y'all been following me, y'all already know. I was going to take this off, but I changed my mind. I kept it and just switched it up a little bit. How cute is that? Last but not least, this one here is just like just a regular badge reel pink. 
this is a capuchin and i just put the little heart diamond heart right there the diamond on the heart as y'all can see and blinged it out with the small beads some of the little glass rhinestones my pearls my ab pearls and so forth and that's it that's it that's all i did this and put the little heart the little small little charms on here that's it use my antique i think i used my little antique um uh, wire and stuff for those the little heart and the little love charm that we could barely see and that one right there y'all see okay and that is it with that one so like i say um you can make your badges out of just about anything you just have to put your mind to it you know i always told you guys think outside the box okay when you're looking at a when you're looking at an item when you're in that dollar tree you're shopping you know what you're shopping for it's like oh okay hmm you already know anything that basically come to mind right then that's how it is with me i'm just like oh look you know what i know what i could do with that so i end up picking it up y'all know i will if i bring it i share it and that's what i did with mine okay now if you guys seen that video um on my display cards i was showing sharing with you guys and that's all this one is right here okay that's all this one is so i just left this right here and like i say there will be most likely in february we will start out i'm gonna definitely share with y'all and i'm gonna bring these to y'all before february though i'm gonna show y'all these charms before february but y'all just stay tuned because i'm gonna be done gave up what i'm talking about anyway because y'all know i get to talking to be done told everything but anyway but let's see if we if miss d can show you guys right quick hopefully it won't take long and i know it's not because i'm gonna make sure it's not long okay how you how y'all can get this look even though this is a project share okay even though this is a project share i'm sharing with you guys i just love this y'all tell me what y'all think about this one this is just too cute to me this i mean like look like like really come on now that is just too cute because it's gray i like that anyway y'all tell me what y'all think about that one or just tell me what you think about the um badge reels period leave a comment all right i'm going to show you guys how you can put you can put them on here like this if y'all watch that video and I showed y'all how to do it. You can do, you can make your own display cards. Remember, you can also, you can do it like this. And at the end, I'm going to show y'all another way you can do them as well. But first, let's go ahead and we're going to, Miss D going to show y'all right quick how to add these beads right quick. You need a badge reel. Mine is already glittered. Y'all know I pre-do stuff, right? I'm telling y'all I have some videos coming for you guys. I do, I do, I do. So, we're going to go ahead. We're going to clamp this off. Whatever you do, make sure this, I didn't do that. I had a keychain there. Yeah, I took it off. Make sure this right here is clamped off, okay? Make sure this end is clamped off because you don't want this string coming, going up. Because if you do, you might as well get another, you might as well get another one, okay? We're going to put that right there for right now. And this one right here for right now so y'all can see what i'm doing all right what we're gonna do we're going to um cut this right quick we're gonna cut this right here we cut it we cut that take you a head pin or a needle or whatever you've been using to take this little piece out okay so that's what I 
I think that is blue. Okay, it's off. To take this little black piece out, the rest of this string off. Okay. Okay. Make sure it comes out. So you can put your other string through there. Okay. That's the piece you're looking for right here. That's the piece you're looking for. Okay. And Miss D just dropped her piece that she was using for. Okay. Now, we have this. Right? We have nothing but this. We done took it off. This end right here, you're going to burn a little piece at the end. I'm doing this off camera. Because y'all already know. I don't need to be getting flagged for nothing. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the black bead. We're going to use a black bead. We're going to use this bead. We're going to use this bead. I want this printed bead right here. Y'all see what I just did now? This is off. And this is on. So, we're going to use a rhinestone. We're going to put the rhinestone in here like that and then we're going to add this bead right here like that and then we're going to add this back on we're going to put this back on now why you still have this piece on y'all know how i am over here i take a shortcut every time you can take this whole piece off right here if you want to but if you can work with it be it on here so what if it comes out on the side that it's fine long as it's in there right and y'all already know that's what I, that's what i do okay we're gonna put this in here hold on guys let me see hold on you may have to cut it again sometimes because sometimes i do but make sure you're not cutting a whole lot of it off because you don't want to take away from your string the length of your string okay you don't want to do that and look like this here does not want to go in for me today don't do that don't start doing that okay all right um any other time y'all i be done put this in here no problem but today, I guess it does not want me to be great. I guess it does not want me to be great. But guess what? Don't have to because I'm going to be great anyway. Okay. There we go. Now that the string is in here... Sometimes it'll go straight through the hole, and if it does not, you don't worry about it. And now we're fixing to tie the string off, okay? Like I said, when you're tying it off, make sure you're close to the edge, close as you can get it, okay? Because you do want to keep your length, much of much of your length to your um, string, as much, much as you can, okay? Well... And that is it. That's all we do. And we tie it off. Once we tie it off, make sure it's on there good. I'm going to cut this down just a tad. Okay. And that's it. Because your knot is going to fold right back up into here and that big old knot that I put there is not coming up and that's it even though it tried to give me a hard time yeah now this here let me show y'all something right quick and then I'm gonna end this video y'all see this rhinestone right here okay y'all see this rhinestone right here with the the ripples on the end 
they do good. Yes, they do. But remember, these are wooden beads that I'm using. Sometimes, if you do not want it to um, be movable, add your little E6000, set it how you want it, and let it be. That's it. But if you don't mind it being movable, that's what it's going to look like right there, okay? And that's it. And add your charms to the bottom and go to town. That's all you do. That's it, guys. That's how you add these beads here. There will be a video coming soon, like I said, of showing you guys if you do not want to take this step of adding these beads. Miss D going to show you how to make your own within the length. And they're going to be bad charms. Now, remember I told you guys about the display cards. Yes, you can make your own. If you have gift tags and stuff laying around, I've had these forever too. So, y'all just, and I get these off of Amazon. So, I didn't have them forever. And I can't tell you, you just have to go in there and put in heart gift tags or something. So, it would not be a link. Or either you can do them like this. And this is cute right here by itself. Or you can make some yourself. If you have a lot of paper, cardstock laying around at home, use this as a stencil. If you like the little scallop shape at the top, like this, use this as a stencil and get the cutting. While you're sitting there watching your movie or whatever, get you some scissors, your paper, get the cutting. That's it. So if you don't want to use the cards big like this, and you have the little bags you want to put them in, do it like this. like that and put your info on the back and, or either just put happy valentine's day or whatever it is or just get you a one inch circle write it in there or get on the computer do you know what y'all know how to do it so that might be another video too and put your info on the back or either just put thank you in your own handwritten but that is it for this video that is it miss d basically gave y'all like a two and two and one today or three and one <laughs> That's what I did. So, now, that is it, guys. That is it. That's, that's, that is it. That is it. That is it. <laughs> that is it, y'all. Oh, Lordy, let me stop playing. But anyway, but um, it's deep in to get off of here. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you guys think about the Our Valentine's Day Bad Trills, okay? Y'all let me know what you think about the Valentine's Day bad drills. And remember, you can do them like this on the gift tag or make your own display. Okay? But this is it. All right, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Post notification bell on so you don't miss a video anytime it's deep upload. And I'm out. Y'all stay tuned for the next video.